Hello people on YouTube. I haven't made a video in a very long time. Um, just had things to do and haven't really got around to it. But here I am. This is about the book that my mum got me. I told her about meeting people on YouTube. And uh, she found me this. It's called The Dawkins Delusion. And it's basically in response to The God Delusion. And it's a small book, so it didn't take me that long to read. It's got notes in the back of where the author got his uh, sources and stuff, which you can look up and check if you want. And it's also got recommended further reading, if you want to look into things even further. There's less than 65 pages of reading in it, and it costs less than $10 to buy on the internet. You might expect the reaction to the God Delusion being made by some religious nut who didn't really know the facts, but this isn't it. I'll just read you some of the stuff from, that it says on the back. Uh, Alistair McGrath, the author, is ideally placed to evaluate Dawkins' ideas. Once an atheist himself, he gained a doctorate in molecular biophysics uh, before going on to become a leading Christian theologian. Uh, he wonders how two people who have reflected at length on substantially the same world could possibly have come to such different conclusions about God. McGrath subjects Dawkins' critique of faith to, rigor to rigorous scrutiny. His exhilarating meticulously argued response deals with the questions such as is faith intellectual nonsense are science and religion locked in a battle to the death can the roots of christianity be explained away scientifically and is christianity simply a force for evil this book will be warmly received by those looking for a reliable assessment of the god delusion and the many questions it raises including above all the relevance of faith and the quest for meaning a couple of quotes about it Addressing the conclusions of the God Delusion point by point with the devastating insight of molecular biologist turned theologian. Alistair McGrath dismantles the argument that science, that science should lead to atheism and demonstrates instead that Dawkins has abandoned his much cherished rationality to embrace an embittered manifesto of dogmatic atheist fundamentalism. That's a quote by the director of Human Genome Project, Francis Collins. Also, Richard Dawkins' utopian vision of a world without religion is here deftly punctured by McGrath's informed discourse. His fellow Oxonian clearly demonstrates the gaps, inconsistencies and surprising lack of depth in Dawkins' arguments. And that was by Owen Gingerich, Professor of Astronomy in Harvard University. I, it, I found it very insightful and I think um, Rabbit Ape you could seriously benefit from reading it and so could anyone else who takes the god delusion as gospel i haven't read the god delusion but from what i can make from this book it's actually very biased i mean dawkins was quoted as saying if this book works as i intend religious readers who open it will be atheists when they put it down this book is a must for anyone who wants the full story and an explanation as to why around 50 percent of doctors in modern sciences still believe in god or are unsure Give or take 10% or so. I don't remember the exact numbers. So yeah, there you have it. Rabbit Tape is basically the vlogging embodiment of an advert for the God Delusion. So I take no shame in saying, read this book.